Hey, Pamela Hack here from Strata Toscana, and this is Strata TV, where you come for a glimpse at La Bellezza, the beauty of Italian culture. And today we're heading on the Strata. We're first stopping in Milano, then we're going to Venezia to meet two friends, Panettone and Pandoro. Well, you might call them friends. They're sweet friends. They're two different sweet breads or cakes that are super popular all throughout Italy during the holidays. And I mean popular. You can walk into any store and you see a virtual sea of panettone and pandoro. So what's all the buzz? What's the fuss about these two different cakes? Well, first we go to Milano and it's the fifth century and the Duke of Milano is throwing a party and he's got all his noble friends there so it's a big deal right and as it's getting near dessert the cook realizes to his horror that he has left the dessert in the oven and it's burned now what's he gonna do his assistant Tony says wait I think I can save the day that's not a direct quote he said something like that and here Tony had made for himself this particular kind of sweet bread made with yeast sort of cured almost like a sourdough right acidic he had made the sweet bread put in candied citrus also thrown in some raisins and the two of them thought well heck let's give it a try they serve it to the Duke and his friends for dessert and they love it it's a hit and the first panettone is born. Later, the recipe is refined. And now when you find a panettone, they're beautiful, tall, shaped like a dome, great big, tall, yeasty, wonderful, hard to describe flavor. You just have to try it. But then there's that cousin, Pandora. And for that, we need to travel over to Venice because Venice of course all throughout the Middle Ages and Renaissance was a market for the spice trade right and also what was coming into Venice by the droves especially during the 1800s was sugar now during that time even up until the 1800s it was the wealthy who were eating white bread and the poor were eating what was called black bread because it was made from a wheat that wasn't very refined, right? And the super wealthy, they took that white bread and they kicked it up a notch. They said, hey, let's enrich it, add eggs and butter and sugar. And now they created what was called pandoro, pane oro, meaning golden bread fancy schmancy golden bread that is baked in loaves that make it look like a great big star on its side and huge and tall. It's fantastic, made in a similar way to panettone, but the ingredients are different. And then we kick it over to Venice's neighbor of Verona during the 1800s. They kept working on that recipe for Pandora till they perfected it. Some say it took more than a century. Can you imagine? And it was patented there. So now here we have it. These two wonderful cousins, Panettone and Pandoro. So you go into a store and you have to make a choice. It's the holidays. What are you going to pick? The Panettone or the Pandoro? I say, you know what? No, you don't make a choice. You pick both because now you get a great big slice, two slices of La Bellezza of Italian culture. I'm Pamela Hack. And if you liked this, comment, share it. And you know what? Head over to stratatoscana.com and sign up because you'll get updates and insider e info. We'll keep you in the loop. In the meantime, here's hoping that your travels are filled with La Bellezza. And I'll see you next time on Strata TV. Oh good, you're still there. Are you ready? Here's this week's riddle. Here are three hints for the next video. Renaissance, churches, and colors. Leave your guesses in the comments below. I can't wait to read them and I'll see you next time on Strata TV.